Okay, you're gonna be with me, so make sure you stay tuned because I have interesting questions. Look, we're all not experts in this industry. I'm gonna ask you questions about, but, but we are all affected. So, okay, question number one. I'll translate it into German as well. Also auf Deutsch nochmal. Ich werde jetzt ein paar Fragen stellen auf Englisch. Und äh, wir sind alle nicht Experten da drin, aber wir sind alle betroffen. Also auch ihr. Bleibt dran. So, first question. How many chickens are there in the world? Hundreds of billions. Bro, next. Oh my God. How many chickens are there in the world? Wait, including guess, many just or guess. without excluding? Without them. <laughs> okay. Um, 100 million. Okay. So you said 100 billion? I said 100 billion, but I No, correct. you said hundreds of billions. So I guess. will say like 20 billion. Wow. He's not bad. No, he, he after he adjusted. Because 100 billion is too much. Yeah. You said hundreds of billions. Hundreds yeah, of yeah, billions. It's, it's too much. Bro, but you're, you're out of this. <laughs> no, but he's, <laughs> he's out, bro. Come on. What? So I'll tell you. One point for me. Estimated. No, I'll guess two. No, okay. that's ex estimated 24, 25 billion of them. Wow. Three times more than humans. More than three times more. I mean, I, I consume like three of them a day, so. <laughs> I mean, if you if you eat if you eat chicken wings, for example, they are very small, and they are the small chickens. So one portion of chicken wings is like the legs of like and the wings of like ten chickens. So that's one portion. So some people who eat. So next of... question. <laughs> so, so I believe that if some people who love chicken wings, this hardcore people with the big belly. I think they can eat easy 50 chickens in one day. We so. shouldn't. So I'm coming to that point. There's a reason why I'm asking this. All right. How many cows exist in the world? Cows. Cattle cows. Guess. 10 billion. 10 billion? What do you think? I think 600 million. Okay, so basically there are around 900 million to a billion cows nice. in the world. So S1, you're very close. I got yes. you guys. I'm, 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 I'm playing for you guys. So Mike scores is for you guys and his scores is for the universe. So I see here some of you guys are really good in guessing. Don't cheat, don't Google, just guess. Educated guess. So some say 10 million, some say one guy said 1 trillion, no 10 trillion. Oh, that's, that's too much. <laughs> that could be maybe the number of others, like ants and stuff like that, right? So anyway, how many cats exist in the world? Like pet cats. Not pet cats, but not wild cats. Oh my god. I would say 50 million. 50 million? What do you no, think? No, 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 no. Sorry, I go up to 200 million. 200 million. What do you think? 200 million. This is a tough one, guys. Uh, I would say uh, 80 million. 80 million? There is actually 600 million. Oh my God. 600 million cats. How many dogs exist in the world? You guess. I think the same. I say 200 million again. 200 million? I, again. I say 140 million. 140 million? It's actually almost the same number as cows. 900 million approximately. 900 so million. I won now three times. You won no, one how? time. How did you because I'm closer. How are you closer? You went lower. But, uh, but I'm closer than you. So, so now, look, we have I around... Think, I think, sorry to interrupt, but I think we should disqualify me. <laughs> Disqualification for lying. That's a term. A Look, book. What? no, no, it's fine. I think nobody really knows because you did you ever count dogs? No, you Never, didn't, right? So we just, just have guess. to guess. Really some people guess. here have like guesses, like a billion. Some guys just put random huge numbers. No, guys, it's not the number of atoms in the universe. I said dogs. <laughs> so we have dogs, 900 million. We have around 900 million to a billion cows. 
we have 24.5 billion chicken, right? Now, we have around 600 million cats, right? How many wolves exist? Wolves, like... I would say, because wolves are very dangerous creatures and humans are scared of them, and I probably they hunt them because Number, otherwise... Number, bro. How many? I'll say 10 million. 10 million? Oh my god, 60,000. Okay. 60,000? It's actually around 300,000 wolves only. Uh, now I'm coming to the point. I'm gonna tell you why I'm asking these questions. But stay with me. You see, it's also, a small number. Also, bleib, yeah. bleib dran, weil yeah. ich wollte euch damit was erzählen. So, we have next point. We have. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. And I think I'm speaking for everyone. How the hell do you know all these numbers, bro? <laughs> like I read a lot. So basically, another question is, how many? How many tigers exist? I watch Tiger King, so I know that in USA they are the most tigers in the world. How many? I think I would say maybe not more than 20,000 total. Okay, wow. What do you think? I think there's like 15,000. It's actually like 4,000. Oh, wow. So again you won, you see? We are getting close. Yeah. yeah. I think now we are 3-3. Three, three. So you guys That's also guessing, guessing little numbers, right? 10,000, 20,000 I'm reading, 250,000. So now have you asked, and this is my point, and there's many points, but the first point is, why do you think, like when we, when we look at evolution, we think about the survival of the fittest, right? Yeah. So how can wolves be only 300,000, but dogs be 900 million? How could be 4,000 tigers only? Oh, I know but, the answer for this. But 600 million cats, which are not wild, are nowhere close to being even as fit and strong as those ones. What do you think? Well, because they are cr animals, creatures which are dangerous and they can attack humans. So whatever is dangerous for the human, they probably eradicate them or make them less in the areas where population and people living so that's right. my guess so a wise man once told me and i'll tell you who that wise man is a wise man once told me that it's because of us ah. humans choose what we want to keep alive right and that wise man was Saigon. Oh, I told yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> you told me this. We had this conversation. So I'm trying to tell you something. So when we are actually, we interfere a lot into evolution. I me mean, obviously there's also a point about reproduction rates. Like for example, some animals reproduce much faster than others. For example, even though we try to uh, eradicate rats, right? There's so many rats. I think there's 30 million rats in Manhattan alone. Alone. Right? Five times more than the actual humans. There's a big rat right there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big rat in New York right now. No, I, I, mean, <laughs> no, I mean real rats. So why are there five times more rats in Manhattan than humans? Because first of all, they have really mastered to survive any attack humans stride on them. But generally, when you think about it, we interfere a lot into evolution and we choose who's allowed to survive. And if animals have a use case, like chicken or cows or even pets like dogs and, dogs and cats, we basically allow them to survive. It's not because they are actually stronger than tigers or wolves, right? And it's sad to know that, know that cute cats like Pablo and Chapo, the ones I have, Susie. they actually, they are actually surviving more than even cats, which are not that nice, right? In terms of aesthetics, if they have short hair, they're more stray cats, which are short haired. If they're wolves, they're dangerous to humans. So we, we actually eradicate them. And if we actually think about tigers, they should be surviving because they are much stronger and they could pretty much survive everything except humans right so when we say we need to know when we say save the animals 
we forgot that we actually always try to say save us our interest and we choose who's allowed to survive who's actually allowed to be protected and this is the same argument when it comes to when it comes to save the planet right we always say we should save the planet but what do we actually mean guys we actually mean save us right because no one ever said that except humans but nature never said that blue skies and water and greenery is the best version right it's not the best version it could be lava what if it the whole earth was full of lava who says that's better or not better we say it so when we say save the animals and when we say save the planet we need to be realistic at the end of the day we're trying to say save the interest of humans so let's be cautious about what we actually do so what i can recommend is eat animals um, in a manner where you actually eat as much as you need to because most of the food we actually kill is just wasted and that's i think is the saddest part of it it's not that we eat meat i mean you should reduce it but eating meat is part of nature some might consider but wasting killed that's just horrible so we should not buy more than we actually could eat right and i'm sitting here in a restaurant uh, saying this because we actually went to a place where you can just choose whatever you want to eat and you don't actually order more than uh, you need to now having said that uh yeah i'm gonna probably post this video on my story as well if that's possible and we, you can discuss it in my dms or in my comment section but this is a thought i wanted to share with you mendy what do you think i think this is a very good subject which you found to educate your fans and followers with the lives of the animals which actually matter right. so because they are all animals, animals matter right all animals matter every life of everything matter but for me one life don't matter cockroach yeah that's actually another point <laughs> what do you think of cockroaches does that well, matter uh, cockroaches are so disgusting <laughs> and they don't die ever yeah uh, they can even uh, withstand a nuclear bomb which is insane so radiation doesn't affect them really yeah, yeah. you didn't know that i didn't know that oh no way you know that's what? the only thing that will survive on earth of a nuclear bomb the cockroaches yeah the cockroaches there's more there's so they more, must really. have a special gene or some thing of the dna yeah you cockroach. can make yourself a suit out of cockroaches and you'll survive forever yeah, yeah man. no so that's not true no? okay we <laughs> need to make some R and D in a special laboratory and take this one thing out of the cockroach to get it. So we will be spider. We cockroach. will be like judgment day on Earth proof. Stop <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys. Before I wrap this up, so that's another point. So we also consider classes of life differently. Like for example, uh, mosquitoes. Light. Uh, light. Light. So, <laughs> mosquitoes, right? Yeah, mosquitoes we try to kill mosquitoes as much as possible because mosquitoes kill most humans than any other animal. Did you know that? Did you they know kill that? more humans than any other animal? Mosquitoes kill more humans than any other. That's Actually, crazy. sharks kill only 13 people in the world per yeah. year. Per year. And I think mosquitoes kill almost 100 million, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa. Yeah, because they actually um, transmit diseases, uh, like malaria, for yeah. example, is one of the biggest ones. So, don't ask me how I know all these numbers. I just <laughs> read these now things. Now the mosquitoes even now the mosquitoes they even tra transfer the corona maybe. Uh, we don't know that, does no. it? No, we I don't. Think mosquitoes know that. don't. You don't think so? No. no. I don't know, but I don't think so. Uh, could be. Through blood, but I don't and, know. And especially, it's a special type of mosquitoes. It's not just any. So, so we try to kill mosquitoes. We try to kill cockroaches as much as possible, but they always survive us, right? And there's another reason I'm telling you this because 
You should watch a documentary, it's called Insignificant, where the bias a human has of actually thinking that we're special in anything, or we are the strongest, we are the fastest, we are nothing of these. We're not the strongest, we're not the fastest, we're actually not even the fittest to survive evolution yet. There is uh, many other creatures which actually survived hundreds of millions of years, some of them even a billion years. Um, so we are not anywhere close to those uh, animals. But we have something which no animal has, right? And that's the mind, the, the level of mind we can actually uh, reach. We have some kind of self-awareness uh, which no other animal has. We have few capa cap capacities and capabilities which other animals don't have, but are we using it for the right reasons? At the end of the day, if you extrapolate what we're doing and where we're going, is this going to be the process which leads us to survival or it's just going to kill us? So think about it, guys. Um, I think um, maybe in economics it might work, where you, if you're thinking about yourself, egoism leads to, the, uh, leads to prosperity in the entire market. I don't think it's the truth for nature. Maybe recent events which we're going through are a wake-up call. Think about it. I remain with all my best regards with my friends Matthias and S1. See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.